beautiful people and welcome back to our channel thanks for watching our videos as well breaking sunday Igbo's associate was shot 48 times mortal was used to kill him when shot gun shot by dss operative didn't have effect on him says the secessionist group if you're watching our video for the very first time we welcome you to this platform and also would like you to kindly click on the subscribe button below and as well the notification button beside it thank you so much while the dss operative were butchering hadogon majasola in Bohosha, in which he said may peace and blessing in edward always be with him and also they said the umbrella body of yoruba self-determination group Ilano Omo Odua has alleged the operative of the Department of State Service DSS during the raid on the Ibadan residence of Yoruba activist Sunday Adeyemo Igbo, shot at one of Igbo's associates Adogon 48 times before butchering him to death. In a statement shared with Sahara Reports by Olayomi Koiki, Igbo's media aide. The Ilano Modua group led by historian Banji Akintoye claimed that the DSS operative shot Sahid Adesa, popularly called Adogon, 48 times and when the bullet filled, a mortar was used to kill the young man. It read thus, This is the face of a true warrior. His name is Adogon. He took 48 bullets to his body and was still standing like a fearless Ikoyesho when shot filled the DSS, they had to slam a mortar on his head, butchering him to death. While DSS operated the butchering Adogo, Majasola Ibohosha, the peace and blessing of Edua, always be with him, he made his exit to fight another day. It was said that the DSS so brutally decapitated Adogo's body that they were ashamed to leave his body behind. They whisked his body away, but his blood trailed them from Chief Ibo's living room to the DSS headquarters in Abuja. Trust me, we will take our revenge. R.I.P. my good brother. No going back to the Yoruba nation. Lagos rally goes on, as planned. It was gathered that Adogon was killed alongside Ibo's maternal uncle, known as Afa. Koiki also said one of them was shot by the DSS while a bullet did not kill the other person. They tried shooting him, but he was, was not affected, so he bought the butchered him. They killed him in cold blood. Recall that the DSS confirmed the attack on Igbo's house, stating that they killed two allies of the Yoruba right activists during the invasion of his residence in Ibadan, Oyo State. So, after the raid, it was being discovered that the DSS service of the state had taken over Sunday Igbo's resident in Ibadan after the invasion. And the officers of the Department of State Service took over the soccer resident of Yoruba Freedom Fighter, Chi Sunday Hadeyemo. And the DSS on Thursday night, during a press conference in Abuja, paraded some exhibits and occupants of, of his house who were arrested during an invasion of his house earlier in the day. And also, they took some things from the house in which it was said is a, it allegedly belongs to a Sunday Igboho as well. And few of those things in which was recovered as an exhibit from Igboho's house as some few AK-47 charms and knife and also so many other things respectively. And also it was been said that the Nigerian army speaks on the invasion of Igbo's resident. And as it was being gathered that the men were dressed in military uniform in which way they used that to attack the house of Igboho at about 1.30 am, destroying valuable assets in the building. And the source spokesman for the Nigerian army, Onye Onyema Onwachuku, has denied that troops from the army invaded the residence of an agitator for Yoruba nation, Sunday Adeyemo. 
Also, Iwajoku said he was not aware of the incident, adding that the Nigeria army did not carry out any attack on the Yoruba nation agitator as claimed People's Gazette to report. There is nothing like that. I don't have that information. Soldiers did not carry out an attack on the war, Mr. Onwachoko said over the telephone, and it was gathered that men dressed in military uniform attacked the house at about 1.30 a.m., destroying valuable assets in the building. Footage from the scene of the incident shared by loyalists of the architecture also contained blood spills in the activist house and vehicles destroyed. But the Hami has a history of denying such incident, just like it happened with the attack on the peaceful protesters at the Lekki Gate in Lagos on October 20, 2020. The Hami initially denied ever being there, but later said his men were only there with rubber bullets. Thereafter, he changed his story and admitted that live bullets were indeed taken to the venue of the peaceful protest. And as well, to wrap it up the protest is has already taken place and also so many people from the yoruba nation were seen taking up the venue of the protest in which even the traditionalists were seen taking up the protest ground as well and also people have just raised their voice to be heard by the government and as also the activist in person of Igoho wasn't found on the ground as one of is otherwise he was seen so as i said in an interview in which he disclosed that he they are following the plan as they have drafted even earlier before the incident happened on you know, at Igbo's house and also bringing the report that also Igbo sunday Igbo is nowhere to be found as it been said that the dss president requested for him to turn himself in else anything can happen as they have also arrested some men from his house and also sunday Igbo's whereabouts is not mentioned and not known as he refuses to disclose his whereabouts all right guys don't forget to click on the subscribe button as well as the notification button beside it like and comment in the comment section box below and give us thumbs up showing that you love this video and also you can check out more of our videos on this platform to get more information on the viral news and most especially on the case of Igbo sunday Igbo day at yoruba agitator and as well thanks so much and we love you stay tuned and don't go anywhere